Man, this video, I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to. What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Youngston, man. Back at it again with another reaction video, man. I said, what? Come on, say it with me, y'all boys. I said, I'm back at it again with another reaction video. Y'all boys already know what it is, man. You feel me? You feel me? Mm -hmm. Hey, this video right here was the most requested of all time on my channel. This video right here, a lot of people wanted. I can't shout out to nobody. So, what am I saying? I can't shout out to nobody right now because a lot of people was requesting this song. They really wanted me to react to it. So we got Sabaton No Bullets Fly Animated Story. I don't know how this story go. I don't know what is it about and stuff. So, I ain't going to do no more talking though. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. You know, it's a long video. It's at 8 minutes and 46 seconds. So... And I really wanted to react to it. I seen there was a, there, there was the song, there was a part where, which it was like four minutes, and there was at the animated story. I was going to react to the song, but I was like, no, I want to do this because y'all mess with me, and I'm trying to mess with y'all back. You know what I mean? The Sabaton fan on this channel, shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do y'all things when y'all when I upload my videos about Sabaton. So all I gotta say, keep on doing y'all thing. Hit that subscribe button. We ain't gonna do no more talking. That's all I gotta say. I can't shout out to nobody. Today it is blank. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it ain't nobody because a lot of y'all was uh, was telling. So we ain't gonna do no more talking. Like I said, we just gonna go straight into the video. See what this thing about. Make sure this camera is good. You know what I'm saying? You know I got the fresh cut, the sabaton. You know what I'm saying? Respect to y'all boys for what y'all doing. Hey, <laughs> let's get it. It's December the twentieth, nineteen forty-three. And in the freezing air, high above Germany, Second Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, the old pub. At 11:30, approaching the target of the Fokker plant. Near so I guess, I guess it's uh, it's a story, yeah, animated story. <laughs> I was so stupid. Yeah, it's a story. The old pub. Okay. At 11:30, approaching the target of the Fokker plant near Bremen. The this, pub is rocked. This is my serious face right now, so don't mind it. This is my serious face when I'm watching something important, so yeah. I, I ain't going 11 30, approaching the target of the Fokker Wolf plant near Bremen. The pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the B 17. A cry comes across the intercom. We're hit. In the plexiglass notes, a huge hole had been made. An icy cold wind was being blown inside, making freezing conditions for the crew. Engine 2 had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing, releasing uh, their bombs over wait, the Wait, is it? Okay. Okay, is it like if the airplane, if there's a hole in the airplane or there's like a, a messed up part, isn't it it's automatically going to crash? Well, I guess that's what they told me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I needed to do some research. Expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing. Releasing their bombs over the factory, the crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast and turn Yo. west. It releases the bomb, which fall. Bro, that was at least, what, five to, five to like seven bombs? So I guess they hit that side of the plane and then it, it hit and then or they, I guess they had bombs on that side and then it releases the bomb which fall not on the ground you know oh my this is bro it's for home with one engine out and engine four now faulty the pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane Sam yeah. Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eki shouted, as five BF 109s streaked from the cloud bank. Then another cry. Bro, you 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 just wit you just witnessed somebody of your crew just died. I would be traumatized. Like if I seen somebody die in front of you, me, bro. Like you know how traumatized I would be. This, bro, you so you see the the, the airplane fall into the crowd, and then all you see was an orange light. You know what that is, like. It's a, it's a whole missile just ran into that plane. Bro, my god. ...as five BF-109s streaked from the cloud back. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW-190s were spotted in formation ahead of the pub. 
Oh Sergeant God. Bertram Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. The navigator, Al Doc Sadek, took out the second. Okay. Pinky reported that Engine 3 had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF 109s oh attacked the pub God. from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. In a turn now, the pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste guns, oh injuring the crew and creating a huge Whoa. hole. The oxygen supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground, with the crew unconscious due to... Bro, you... Bro, this is... Li First of all, you it um, bro, they had oh my god. But imagine just imagine being in that situation. So basically you got me right now everything your 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 missile fell out like your your little your little command everything your missiles your what is what is called the bomb the bomb fell out. Your machine your shooting machine is like it's frozen. You have a whole thing that like planes from the front and the back shooting at you. What's the hope of you even surviving that? If you survive that, that's some heroic stuff. If you survive that, that bro, planes from the back, planes from the front, all attacking you at once. The fact that they're still alive at this point is is amazing already. They just swerving through the sky. Yo, yo, your whole airplane. They got a hole now. They got a hole in the in the, in the in a whole big hole in the thing now. And then your the the wings is already messed up, and the other wings is starting to mess up. And your oxygen is about to be out, bro. Yo, if you survive that, taken out and the pumps spun right towards right. the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, the B-17 fell for oh, four miles. Man, that is Charlie crazy. started to come around and what? grabbed oh. the controls, pulling no. back as the plane continued to fall. 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet. Just oh. moments from hitting the earth, the plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. Yo, that nah, that's, that, that right here is some heroic stuff right here. How do you, how do you survive that, bro? That, that, that is death, that's death before your eyes right there. Like, literally, that's death before your eyes. My brain's still trying to process that. Because I know I'll be dead for sure. I'll be traumatized. So they would, they got unconscious and somehow this, is this like real? Or is it like a, I feel like it's real. This is real, this is real time. He stay, he really said it at the beginning of the video. 1943 he said December or October he said October 3rd 1943 if I'm if I'm if I'm sure but that's not bro I respect man could have lose, just lose his life right there bro <laughs> expect this video to be long so get your popcorn and sit down and watch Expect it to be long. From down below, one enemy spotted. So hurry up, rearm and refuel. But through the bombers, damners that bring. Two wounded men scared to the bone. Look to the right and then look again. I see the enemy in the eye. No bullets fly. I can I cannot take this. So they're still in the air. Oh my god, I cannot take this right here. I hope I, I hope this is this is reinforcement. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting I'm getting ahead of you. I hope this is reinforcement. Go.
out or something. Look, I, I know they're not airplane, but that's what I call them. <laughs> this is this is what I call them. I know they're not airplane, but this is what I call them. And this just this is what I'm used to saying. So I will call it airplane. If it's in the air, it's flying. It's an airplane to me. So yeah, but this is good stuff right here. All I can say is Sabaton, the Sabaton band. When I, I feel like sometimes when I say Sabaton, it sounds like I'm saying an artist name or something. I guess Sabaton is a band. If you're watching this video, I guess you already know it's a band from Sweden doing amazing things. They they the what they doing right the right there is something special because it's not a lot of people that do it, and they deserve all the credit. It, telling history, you know how much people do not do that. Unless like you were a teacher at school or something. What what rapper you know that really going to tell history? Nobody. Name me one. Nobody. Oh my god. What are they? Are they trying to see who he, who he is or something? This band is amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I like this part right here. I like this part. I, I like the... Look, salute to the dudes. I, I don't know how many times I got to say it, but salute to the dudes. I like that part right here. I like that part right here. Oh, 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 oh. This is too inspirational. was gonna happen I I was literally thinking through my head right now that that plane was literally just abandoned like abandoned because they 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 wasn't able to get out of the plane and then these two planes that came around I was thinking like they came there was the enemy they tried they just came to like shoot them down or something yeah, I was I was getting through my head right now my head was just going through it at this point, I'm not even reacting to the song. I'm just, I'm just reacting to the video. I'm reacting to the video because this is amazing. The song is good too. This is amazing, bro. This, this is some heroic stuff, bro. I can, I could never be a soldier because I don't think I have the gut. That's why I, you gotta show them boys respect. You gotta show it to them. This is. The story was kept secret until 1986, when Brown started the search for the German pilot who had shown mercy on that December day all those years ago. In 1990, Brown received a letter from a man named Stigler, who was living in Canada. Stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the German fighter who had escorted Ye Old Pub. This video is of their first meeting. Franz, what were your feelings when you met again for the well, first time? I was so happy as we met that I dropped him. How about him? Was it easy? I could tell it wasn't easy. Yeah. Yo. The, the fact that he risked his life really in many ways and I wrote him in a letter. I said, if you uh, if you made a habit 
are feeling sorry for Palmer Cruz. Flag up alongside them. I am sure that you were shot down many times. So basically, he came, he came in and helped the crew out and showed them the the way, showed them a place that they could, they could, you know, land the plane on and everything. Cause at the, at a point, I feel like if they did not land, it's right they would actually kind of die. And and that was a risk. He could have lose it, really lost his life there. Cause it depends, you know, the enemy could have like. As you can see, like in the beginning of the video, that the enemy disappeared. You never know when they could have came back. I, I I was kind of so su like surprised the enemy left. Cause why if you they cause they was by themselves. That's the crazy part. They was literally by themselves. Yo. <laughs> okay, somebody please comment down below right now to so I can get a better understanding. But this is, bro. This is like I'm just saying this, but this is amazing right here. This right here is amazing, bro. I I don't got I don't have the alongside them. I am sure that you were shot down many times, but it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us. That's what I'm saying. And uh, then recognizing the threat. If someone had exactly. seen him and reported exactly. it, exactly, it could have been a death sentence. That's Franz gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read. In 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save oh, a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. That's the pilot, bro. Charlie Brain, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never it's got the night's movie. cross. But as he always said, he got something better. Wait, is there an ad about to play? I'm gonna skip those. Bro, yo, this is amazing. I will, we need to see the whole story right here. Is that a video game? Now they had this on me video game of, uh, of a plane. Can't be doing that, boss. Not, bro. In 2014, Sabaton Film was listening to the newly released album Hero. And respect to them, bro. <laughs> hey, I will do that too, bro. Probably after what his mother sent us to the video. Hi. My name is Yuhita Tanshtiga. I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Because of this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Safe journey, gentlemen. I'd love to go to one of his concerts, though. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I think I, I would love to go to one of his concerts, though. I'm not going to lie. Cause this, bro, this is amazing. I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how to feel about. It, but I know how I'm feeling right now about this. Traumatized. You, bro, bro, seriously, bro. This, like, I'm not even going to rate this. It's it broke my scale. There's no rating for this right here. This is just a. This is amazing, bro. Sabaton being respect to y'all. Like seriously, but somebody let me know, please. Some more, some more. Like, if I know, I probably did not get the whole thing put in together or correctly. Somebody, please explain it to me. I, I'm, I, I, I need to. I wanna. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to put it together in my brain because I'm still, I'm still trying to process it. That how it was. But yeah, but anyway, yeah, boy, this is gonna be for this reaction video, man. If you enjoy watching this, make sure you leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Sabaton is somebody. Even if my channel flew with a million subscribers, I would always react to do and. I think my next song, I'm, my next song I'm going to react to is Bishmark. Yeah, I need mean, this. This song is, is also like they requested that song a couple of times too. So my next song is Bishmark. So this is gonna be for the reaction video. If you enjoyed, like I said, hit that subscribe button and stay out the way. Stay, keep watching y'all. Keep watching Sabaton. He's a great. This is a great band and he can teach y'all a lot. Stay out the way. Stay gleeful, man. I wanna rock right now. So pass me a mic.